Hi guys, it's JJ and this is another Travel Tuesday with JJ. Today we're visiting Cancun, Mexico. Cancun is the official party capital of Mexico with great beachfront access to the Caribbean Sea. It's known as the gateway to the Yucatan Peninsula. Cancun is often the first travel experience that most have when visiting Mexico for the first time. Ideally situated on the tropical shores of the Mexican Caribbean, with easy reach of the Mayan ruins and eco parks, there is something to please everyone. From the abundance of resorts, white sand beaches, vibrant nightlife, and fun things to do in Cancun, it makes it one of the most popular beach vacation destination in Mexico. If there's extra time, consider taking a day trip to the nearby Tullum. I have my Tullum video linked above. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my supporters. We are over 300 subscribers. So we are trying to get to that 500 subscriber mark. If you're not a part of the family, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification so you know every time I post a video. And as I advise in all my Travel Tuesday videos, please check the entry requirements into Cancun, Mexico. All right, let's jump right in to the video. First and foremost would be to visit Cancun's best beaches. The 13 mile of Cancun's coast is lined with Instagram worthy beaches featuring soft white sand and teal blue waters and a cool breeze. FYI, these have been the bluest waters I have ever seen on my travels. The hotel zone has many beaches where you can relax and sip your margarita, but some of them really stand out thanks to their beauty and atmosphere. Playa del Finas is one of the largest beaches in Cancun. Playa Tortugas is the best for family with kids because it has small waves that allow swimming. Chuck Mool Beach is the perfect place to dive into the Caribbean waters. And Playa Forum is the perfect mix between a vibrant atmosphere and a tropical retreat. Next on the list is one of Instagram's most photographed places in Cancun. It's the ATV zip lines and cenote tours at Extreme Adventure Eco Park. You can combine jungle zip line course, off-road ATV experience, and a cenote swim on a small group adventure tour from Cancun to Extreme Adventure Eco Park. Take on a fun challenge in a scenic destination with round trip hotel transfers, refreshments, and all day activities included. There's a zip line course through the jungle. You can go off road on an ATV, swim in a cenote. They have small group tours, and it's ideal for family or groups of friends. Cancun's Hotel Zone. Cancun is divided into two areas. The downtown, also known as Ciudad Cancun. Sorry for the pronunciation. Please forgive me. <laughs> and Cancun Island, also known as the Hotel Zone or Zona Hoteleria. The Hotel Zone is the primary tourist area, synonymous with resorts, catamarans, wild nightlife, and beaches. It's a 15 mile strip of sand shape like the number seven. This is where most people stay. As the name implies, there are tons of hotels as well as most of the nightlife and beaches. Restaurants and bars line the only road, and I'll put it on the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but it's the boulevard, which runs from one side of the hotel zone to the other. Downtown Cancun. 
if you get sick of the tourist Disneyland that is Hotel Zone, Downtown Cancun provides a taste of local culture with delicious street food, small shops, and green parks, and Mexican wrestling, which we'll get into on the next thing to do. <laughs> Downtown Cancun, AKA Ciudad Cancun, sorry again for the pronunciation, <laughs> is the main residential area for locals too. This is where all the people who work in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula tourist industry actually live. Wander down to Avenida Tulum to see and experience the real Cancun. If you're a foodie, make sure to stuff your face full of tacos from the vendors there. There's a nice park there called Park Las Palapas. Get ready to rumble with Lucha Libre. <laughs> Lucha Libre is a uniquely Mexican version of pro wrestling, emphasizing aerial maneuvers, choreographed acrobatics, wild personalities, and of course, the famous mask. Each fight, whether one-on-one -on -one or tag team, pits the Tecnicos, good guys, against the Rudos, bad guys. Events usually have around five bouts with each fight lasting for three rounds, always spilling outside of the ring. The crowd gets pretty rowdy, so if, you're always, if you've always wanted to learn how to swear in Spanish, this is where you practice. <laughs> in Cancun, fights are held downtown and sometimes on Isla Mujeres and coordinated by Lucha Libre TWS, which I will link below. Splurge for the front row seats, they aren't expensive. Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza is a large Mayan archaeological site and one of the world's most notable and recognized landmarks on the Yucatan. The site itself was originally a main hub of Mayan civilization and has since been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The focal point of the ruins is the pyramid-like El Castillo that was once used by Mayans as a temple to the god Kukulkan. Unfortunately, because of this fame, Chichen Itza is crawling with tourists trying to snap a picture of one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. Nevertheless, the spectacular ruins are well worth it, even for the jaded traveler. You can avoid crowds by visiting the site in the early mornings before the throngs of tour buses arrive. I recommend also advising bringing water and bug repellent and wearing appropriate footwear and a hat. Day trip to Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres offers a laid back change of pace, just a 15 minute ferry ride away from Cancun. Translating to the Island of Women, the island's name comes from it being the historical site of the Temple of Isa, the Maya fertility goddess. Now it's a major destination known for its main beach, Playa Norte, consistently ranked among the best beach in the world. Its downtown area has several amazing restaurants and street vendors on Hildago Street, while on the south end is the home of Punta Sur National Park, with Isel's temple ruins and a sculpture garden. 
plus Tortugranja, the turtle sanctuary, and Jerafan National Reef Park, with snorkeling, zip lining, kayaking, and much more. The island is small, so it's easy to see the whole thing in one day. The preferred mode of travel seeing the entire island is by golf cart, with several rental shops directly across the street from the ferry terminal. Museo Subaquatico de Arte, also known as Musa. Unlike a traditional museum, the underwater museum of art is composed of concrete structures spread across the seafloor. The underwater museum sits somewhere between Isla Mujeres and the hotel zone and is divided into three areas. Menchones, Punta Nizuc, and Punta Sam. The more than 470 sculptures found within the Benchones are only accessible via scuba diving. Punta Nizuc houses 33 sculptures, which you can see while snorkeling in the area. The nine sculptures visible at Punta Sam sit at the shallowest water and are included in most tours of Menchones. If you rather stay on land, you can swing by the Musa Small Gallery in downtown Cancun. In general, this is a very unique, one-of-a-kind experience. The goal for the statues is that they'll eventually be covered in coral. It's an splendid sight to see. Shopping at Mercado 28. Mercado 28, or also known as Market 28, is a huge shopping center in downtown Cancun. This isn't your typical mall. Instead, it's a giant flea market that boasts 600 vendors who sell pretty much everything. From textiles to maracas and leather items, you can find some cool Mexican souvenirs at Mercado 28. Many items are handcrafted and unique, so they make great travel gifts. Feel free to test your bargaining skills here, resist the seller's first price, and you can walk away with a great deal. Stop by one of the local restaurants for food at a fraction of the hotel prices too. Mercado 28 is easy to reach by bus from the hotel zone, but if you have a rental car, remember which lot you park in, as there are four different entrances and parking lots that look very similar. Wow, we are already towards the end of the video and I saved the absolute best for last. So if you've reached this point in the video, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not a part of the family and so I can continue making these videos. Also, 
hit the bell notification button so you're notified every time I post a video on my Travel Tuesdays. Last but not least, if this video helped you in any way, please don't forget to hit the like button so I know that you guys like these videos that I make. Now let's get right in to the very last thing, number 10 on the list of what to do in Cancun, Mexico. And I can't talk about Cancun without mentioning the nightlife. The city is known for its crazy nightlife, especially during spring break. After a day at the beach, when the sun goes down, you can unleash your energy and dance the night away. The best nightclubs in Cancun usually have long waiting line, but it is definitely worth the wait. A few that are notable, I can't go into depth, but you can definitely find info of these in the description below. So I'll list them here for you. Coco Bongos is the most popular club in Cancun. The City Nightclub features celebrity DJs like Tiesto, Fergie, and Paul Van Dyke who perform on the regular. Mandala Beach Club is the place to go for a bikini party. And Daddy O is the place to go if you're looking for a techno and house music, professional dancers, light shows, and body painting. And don't forget, if I have missed anything, please don't forget to comment down below what are some must-see or must do things in Cancun, Mexico. I'll also have a few links down below of some really cool blogs that have helped me find what to do in Cancun. So guys, that is the top 10 things to do in Cancun, Mexico. Hands down one of my favorite places that I've ever been. Don't forget to check the entry requirements into Mexico and have safe travels. Until next Tuesday, bye.